here on the BYU campus checking things out. Ring the bells. Just looking. Hey, hey, I just wanted to uh, make three points in addendum to this video about BYU. Um, I've, I picked up their housing guide and I saw some interesting things. There's one section here called Honor the Code. And in this, it says BYU is unique among universities because of its honor code, which students are required to abide whether they live on or off campus. Much of the honor code is relevant to how students conduct themselves in their apartments. Students agree not to have alcohol or tobacco in their apartments. They also agree not to have members of the opposite sex over after midnight on weekdays or after 1.30 a.m. on weekends. Part of BYU's mission is to assist individuals in their quest for perfection and eternal life. By living the honor code, students can create living environments that complement that mission. So that's interesting. I've never seen a university with an honor code like that. That's definitely different. Uh, so they go on to talk about how the most difficult part of living the honor code is standing up to roommates who may be breaking it and then so anyways the second thing that i thought was interesting was this program it is foreign language student housing now this is really interesting now what it is residents pledge to use the house language when, oh this is by the way this is for people who are studying a foreign language who have intermediate to advanced uh, skills in that language and what this is is it's housing designed for these people and they have a native speaker actually living in that house to help you develop your skills so it says residents pledge to use the house language whenever they are at the complex and must take a corresponding language class while living there a native speaker lives in each apartment and is available to help students learn and speak the language you get this incredible immersion experience with no extra charge, said Harriet Nacross, a junior living in the French house. Where else are you going to have this opportunity? So they have 24 apartments, depending on the student's interest. Apartments are available in Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, American Sign Language. Specific term or semester options are listed at blah, blah, blah. 
I feel like it's one of the most diverse places to live at BYU because we get people from Russia, Spain, Brazil, China, Japan, Korea, Jordan, and Egypt. Uh, applying so. Uh, residents pledge to attend and participate in the apartment dinner program Monday through Thursday at a specific time designated by the house. The dinners are social opportunities for language learning. The dinners are what keep people in the FLSR house. Everyone is a really good cook and you get the best food. You get to chat in the language and talk about everyday life. It's more than a classroom because you're learning the structure, but you're also talking about dating life and sports. Living in FLSR offers a unique church going experience. Sacrament prayers are offered in both a foreign language and in English. Sunday school is taught in each house's specific language. Relief Society priesthood and sacrament meetings, aside from prayers, are conducted in English. You get to know what other people are. You get to know the other people like a normal ward, but within the French house, we become so tight that we're like a family. We jokingly refer to the French house as our French family because you're required to spend one hour talking to each other every single night. So that's that. And one other thing that I thought was interesting, I picked up the local newspaper at BYU campus, The Universe, and they're talking about conference speakers. So apparently they, every year they have this thing called conference. And what this is, the first presidency and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles wait for the broadcast to start at the Conference Center Theater in Temple Square. So I guess I'm assuming these guys are the 12 apostles. Uh, I could be wrong. But anyways, it's a big deal, you know, if you're Mormon, and I guess people get really excited about to listen to them, and they're talking about how rather than watching conference in person, they're watching it virtually on, I don't know, I guess Zoom or whatever they're using. And so the topics they were talking about were, let's see, racial tensions throughout the United States. Uh, whatever it is we were talking about. Racism, protests, a heated election, and the COVID pandemic. So I thought that was interesting. You know, I've never heard of these 12 apostles. I've never heard about this conference. So I thought that was interesting. And it's front page news, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, very interesting stuff at BYU. All right, folks, my battery's about to die. Sorry, I had to add in some uh, iPhone footage to complete this trip. But uh, hopefully that will give you an idea of uh, BYU campus. That's it. See you in the next one.